Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you are all doing well and happy new year. I feel like I've not done YouTube in the longest time. I feel like I went home for Christmas. I really just had time off. Time off Instagram, time off YouTube, time off everything with my family. It was the best Christmas. Um, new year, I came back to Manchester and spent it with the girls. And I feel like now, I'm finally just starting to get back into work. So yeah, I've had a long time off and I apologize for my absence on all forms of social media because I literally turn into a ghost but I am back it's January we're gonna smash 2022 and I'm just so excited for this year I feel like it's gonna be such a big year it's gonna be such a good positive year I'm really excited for it 2021 was amazing 2022 I'm saying it is gonna be great so today I thought I would bring the much requested updated makeup tutorial for my glam like what I would wear on nights out really nights out like I don't really wear glam through the day at all anymore even for my Instagram pictures I just do like a normal like a everyday makeup routine which I can show you guys as well on another video if you would like to see so let me know on that but today is gonna be glam as you can see I am in my half finished dressing room finally we have progress on the dressing room I actually built these wardrobes myself if any of you seen the Instagram story and voted I couldn't do it, I did it myself. So it's only half finished at the minute. There's things missing, the shelves missing. Half of my clothes and trainers are still in Leeds because I didn't bring everything here when I moved in because I didn't have places to put it and it was just getting so messy. I was getting so stressed out. But now I've got like a place to put things. I am going to start bringing more things here which is great. I have got completely nothing on my face. I'm looking hella pale right now as well, like I need to fake tan. I've really just let myself go over these last few weeks, it's really quite bad. Um, but yeah, I've got no makeup on my face whatsoever. My lips are super, super sore. Um, when, I, when I've when i obviously been building my wardrobes, when I concentrate, I stick my tongue out. I've done it all my life my dad does it as well so like if i'm drawing or if like i'm even if i'm writing i stick my tongue out um yeah anyway obviously i've been concentrating whilst building my wardrobes and now my lips are so sore that i'm actually gonna put this on um my lips to start with it is the Too faced hangover pillow lip balm lip treatment i actually found this yesterday and I was like, oh my god, I need to put this on because my lips are killing. And it, it smells so good, which is another bonus. First things first, I'm going to start with my eyes. When I'm doing a glam, I normally do start with my eyes. But first, before all else, I am going to brush up my brows because they're actually not looking that bad, to be honest. They're normally all over the place. So I just you Oh, shit. I forgot to tell you what I'm using. So this is just the Benefit... 24 hour brow setter and um, this is actually one of my favorite products for brows and I'm just gonna brush my brows up and set them in a place like so so they're not crazy eyebrows my eyebrows actually really do need doing a little bit but it's been Christmas you know you guys been busy so first things first I am gonna use the tart, I don't know if it's tart or tart, or I need to actually read the comments. And oh my god, when I got Morphe wrong the other week in my YouTube video, whoa, Morphe, no, no, I thought it was, I was like, I don't know if it's Morph or Morphe, and it's obviously Morphe, and oh my god, I'm, guys, I apologise. I mean, who was coming at me for that? So, Morphe, I will now say it right, I'm sorry for who I offended, but yeah, this is the tart shape tape. So if you've watched any of my recent, like any of my past makeup tutorials, you'll know that I literally swear by this product. This is in shade light medium. And I'm just gonna put some on my eyelids, like so. And then I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to just blend that out. I've actually started using also guys, the Tarte um, beauty blenders, they're so good. I would never, I think they sent me like a free one with um, with some concealer like a few weeks ago and I've never looked back since, they're actually really amazing. So yeah, I'm just going to 
blend that out of my eyelid. I'm going to look like a crazy person also whilst I do this makeup until I get a foundation base on. So I apologise in advance what I'm about to look like, but you want to know how I do my makeup and this is how I do it. So that is all of my lids. I'm then just going to put a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder on like a big fluffy brush as well guys you know i haven't cleaned my makeup brushes which i know it's not, it's not good enough but i'm just keeping this youtube real you know i've not cleaned them like i said i've been slacking on my life recently and yeah i'm sorry i've not cleaned them normally i would clean them or get new brushes for a youtube video but i haven't done it so i'm sorry so yeah just set a little bit of that on my eyes then I'm gonna use, if you watch my other YouTube videos, you'll know I always use a bronzer on my crease. I just feel like it looks better. So this is the Doll Beauty bronzer in shade dark. And if I can open it. I'm just gonna take like a big, this one's actually clean, a big like flush, fluffy brush, get some on, tap it off, and just put this like in my crease like so my eyes look really blue i've got a new mirror that you leaned against it's like one of the hollywood mirrors not the ones with like the individual bulbs it's got like a full-on strip led and oh my god it's actually really good for me doing makeup this is my first time sat here doing any makeup the last few days i have not put a shred of makeup on i've looked like an alien because i've been so just like coming up i came back from leeds for new year then I went out on New Year's Eve with Soph and on New Year's Day, I was so hungover the day after. On the 2nd of January, I just thought, you know what, if I don't get out of bed today, like if I actually don't get out of bed, then I'm never gonna feel hungover. So I woke up at 8 a.m., we didn't get until four. I woke up at 8 a.m. and I was like, I still feel drunk. So I'm gonna get in the shower now. So I got up, got in the shower, whilst I was still drunk, because you never feel the hangover when you're still a bit drunk, do you? Got in the shower, there was Sophie stuff all over my room, so I tidied all the stuff up, literally got in some fresh pyjamas, tied everything up, went back to sleep, woke up at like half past 11, that's a lie, woke up at one, and I, I was hungover, but I wasn't like dying, because I felt like I'd had a real good night's sleep. So then I just literally ordered food to the bed, to my bed, didn't get out of bed, Ariana FaceTime me, it's over FaceTime me, everyone FaceTime me. I just stayed in bed. I had a full day of watching Peaky Blinders. It's the th my third time watching the series. Third time watching that series. Um, and I just w watched that all day, watched the Harry Potter, ordered two lots of delivery. I had a Wagamama's and a McDonald's in bed. <laughs> I never eat in bed. That's actually one of my icks. If people would eat food in bed, I hate it because crumbs in bed is the worst and I did that. There was no crumbs to be fair, I sat on top of my duvet, but I was that hungover, I was like, I actually just, I'm not getting out of bed. But you know what, it didn't hit me. Like, I was like, I'm not getting out of bed today. You know, I'm going to eat it in bed and it really worked. I did, the hangover never hit me. Yeah, I was tired, whatever, but guys, honestly, every time now that I go out, I'm going to do that next day. 100%. So next, so I'm going to have to stop talking about this YouTube, it's going to be so long. So next up, I am using Mitchell's Made by Mitchell palette. Um, I'm just going to go in with the this colour here. It is shade Cocoa Pop. With like, with a brush that's like a little bit littler. I'm just going to put it here. Where my like wing is going to go. I'm just gonna put it in that corner just to darken it a little bit before I'm gonna do the wing. Oh. I just feel like this really just changes it. Cause obviously I do bronzer in my crease, like on my day makeup. So I feel like this just makes it a little bit more nighttime. And then I'm just gonna blend it all in with the brush I've just used with the bronzer on. Doesn't have to be too neat. Obviously I am not a makeup artist. I'm not claiming to be a makeup artist, but I feel like I actually am quite good at doing my makeup. So I am gonna do a wink over the top of that. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but it's just, you can just see I've just darkened it a little bit. I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. Where the wings go in. 
I really need to fake tan, guys. Like, I'm so pale. I think I'm just letting myself go. But do you know what? Because it's January now, I actually am going to really, really smash the gym and health and well-being this year. I actually... Well, I say that. One of my New Year's resolutions has actually been to start cooking. Because since I've moved into this apartment, I've not used the pan once. Obviously, I was on meal prep, so I was just using the microwave. And then the micro microwave. I just I love saying that when I say microwave. Anyway, um, <laughs> why, did, why did I say that? Anyway, um, so yeah, I've not actually used like the pans at all. I was meal prepping and then I was just delivering. And I actually have probably spent ridiculous amounts of money on delivery the last month and a half. But anyway, so my New Year's resolution is to start cooking because I actually can cook. I'm just lazy, which is ridiculous. Like, it's actually so ridiculous. And I feel like meal preps are so good, but I feel like you can only do them for, like, a few weeks at a time. And then they just... I feel like I'm a bit sick of them at the minute. So I'm going to start cooking. So I've not actually eaten anything today but Weetabix because I've not got one ounce of... I've not got any food in my house other than crisps and Weetabix. So I've, not, I've only eaten Weetabix today. And then I'm going to, after this do a delivery on the co-op or Sainsbury's, whichever, and get some food delivered and maybe make tacos tonight for my tea. Who knows? My wings, I always use the same Doll Beauty black pen liner. Um, and I just think it's called the black pen liner. I don't know why I'm trying to look at that. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this looking into the camera, but I'll definitely do it in this mirror here. I feel like doing it on camera is so much pressure. But I seem to be able to be doing it right now. I genuinely feel like with, with wings, people always ask me like how to do the wings and I do just think it's just getting, it's just practicing because Sophie always, always used to ask me how to do wings and I, and I and I just said, so if you've got to do it and then just practice. And once you've got it, I feel like I say that and sometimes I still don't do it right. Um, but Sophie started like doing her own and the more she does it, the more she's just getting used to it and getting better at it. So, or maybe using, instead of using this product, if you struggle with wings, maybe use um, like eyeshadow on an angled brush because if you get an angled brush like this, you could just like actually dab it and then fill, fill it in with the um, eyeshadow. So I think that's what I used to do, to be honest. I think it is so... Definitely give that a go if you're struggling with wings. See, even this one's not gone the right today, guys. But I feel like as well, when a wing goes wrong, you've got to stay strong and not, not go into complete panic because that's when you've absolutely fucked it, if I'm honest. Both of the wings are on. Now I'm gonna take a cotton bud, just a normal cotton bud, and put some micellar water on the bud. Watch it go all over me now. And then I'm just gonna clean up under the eye where like the um, eyeshadow's fallen down. You know, just make it really neat and before I'm gonna put anything else on. And this is where, like, if your flick's gone a little bit wrong, you could maybe neaten it up a little bit. So next up, if you watch any of my past YouTube videos, you'll know this is my key product. It's just amazing. It's the Welder, 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 Wheeler, whatever, whatever, whatever it's called, um, Skin Food. It is amazing. Since my last YouTube video, that I'm actually nearly run out of, by the way, um, so many people tag me in this that they've got it and it's changed a life, which I'm so happy about. So I'm just going to rub it into my fingers to like warm it up a little bit. I don't really know why it's what Holly does, so I'm just going to copy her. Holly Flynn. And then I'm just going to rub this all over my face. I do actually want to try the Skin Food Light. That is the normal Skin Food that I've got, but they do actually do a light version, um, which I am going to definitely try. I need to order some more because that is nearly run out. So I'll order both and I'll give you a, a review on that one. Because I do do a light version because this is really heavy on your face, I must admit. I'm then going to use my favourite 
Hourglass Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Honey. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit dark, guys. I must admit, oh, it's a fresh one. My friend bought me it for Christmas. She knows I love it so much. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be a little bit dark for me, guys. It's because I'm actually a ghost. And normally, 99% of the time, wearing fake tan. So, don't come for me on that one. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to put this all over my face, like so. God, I am pale. Jesus Christ. It's just not good enough, guys. I'm really letting myself go. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to use the best ever peaches and cream brush to just blend this out all over. Obviously, when I go out, I'm always fake tanned. So this is why it is a lot darker than my skin colour right now. So I'm using the Tarte Concealer again, but this is in shade Light Medium Honey. And I'm going to put this under my eyes. So, on my head, down my nose, my chin, and a little bit here. Like so. And I'm then going to use a damp beauty blender and just, oh my god, the colour of my hand compared to my face. Just blend this all out. Guys, my hand is so... I'm actually going to, after this video, go on fake tan. I can't believe how pale I am. But, yeah. So, just going to blend all this out. Don't worry too much about getting really close up to your flick because I am going to go in with a, um, like, a flat brush to just really help get it close to the flicks. Just blend this all out all over my head, down my nose, I feel like I've not done a full face in the longest time but I literally did one on, um, on New Year's Eve. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and then with a brush like this put some on. And then just really neaten up that line. I'm going to have to do it here. I can't see in the camera. But yeah, just really neaten it up. And then just blend that in again. I just realised I've not even put mascara on. <laughs> I forgot. So I would normally put mascara on, but I've completely forgot. But we're gonna we're gonna wait to put lashes on for that that step. This is how used to not doing full glam I am. So anyway, now I'm gonna go with the Hourglass Foundation Stick that has got foundation on it, cute in shade Almond, and just do this where I would do contour, just on my cheekbones, around my head, down my nose a little bit, and on the end, like so like a crazy person if I ever do my makeup at home and my dad walks in when I look like this is like Mary what the hell so I'm just gonna blend this out using the same brushes we've just used for the foundation the hourglass foundation sticks are actually just the best I'm yet to find a foundation that I like like it this year that I am a hundred percent I'm going to try out so many different foundations because there's got to be one that I like as much as hourglass like it's got to be like the hourglass can't be the only one in life that I like so I'm actually going to try but with me when I know that I like something I just stick to the same thing I need to move my hair out of the way otherwise it's going to be orange a little bit orange there so then with like a little brush I'm just going to blend this out down the nose really just make that nose look super cute and I am getting back to vlogging, guys. I'm so sorry that I've not done anything. And I actually can't believe how many people have messaged me on Instagram saying, like, when am I going to get a vlog again? I'm really overwhelmed. So I'm really glad that you enjoyed my vlogs. And I promise I'll be back on them tomorrow. I'm starting one. So then next up, I'm using Mitchell's Made by Mitchell Blush. This is in the shade... Fuck. It's rubbed out. Melon. 
I'll show you guys so you can see. So maybe you lot can work it out. But it's rubbed out. Looks like melon something to me. Really, really run out. I need to order a new one. Um, I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. I'm really here at the minute for like more of a um, peachy blush rather than a pinky. I mean, I still love the pinky blush, do not get me wrong. But I'm really loving at the minute like a peachy blush. And this look that I'm doing today that I actually did this makeup look in December. And my makeup went so well. I was like, I am going to film a YouTube on this going out glam. Like, I've just done it every, ever since, every time I've gotten ready. But I just think it must be the peachy blush because most of our products are the same. Then when it's all blended, I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just need to get more in the lid. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. I do always dab it on the sponge, then on my hand, just to even it out a little bit. And then on top of my face. Do it on my under eyes. This side always does better than the other side. I don't really understand what I do differently, but obviously something. Make sure that bit has very... Then just put the rest of it under my nose, on my chin, around my head, just to make sure my face is really matte. Oh, we're gonna leave that little bit on just for a little bit to bake or whatever it's called. I am going to go in with the Hourglass bronzer, which is so dirty. <laughs> Guys, I've really slacked. I remember when I used to get new brushes and clean everything before the makeup tutorial and then now I'm just winging it, I'm so sorry. This is the Luminous Bronze Light and Oh, I've got an H. And it says ambient on it, so maybe that's the shade. Maybe I think so. Just with a big brush. It's really nice, this one. Like, it's like really, really nice. And just put that where my bronzer would go. So, just where we've basically just done the contour and blended it out. We're just going to set it now with some powder. And just warm up my face. Really all over. Just round my head. Try to disguise the fact that I've got a big ass forehead. Hmm. I love that bronzer so much. I'm just gonna dust off the powder and I'm gonna actually just dust it off first with this brush, like a big fluffy brush that we used earlier to like set the eyes with the translucent powder. And then I'm just going to use a little Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade 2. Just get a little bit on my brush and just go over the under eye just to really brighten it that little bit more. Then I am going to go in with the blush. So like I said, I've actually switched to more of a peachy blush, which is crazy. I actually showed it in the little mini makeup tutorial that I did in one of my last vlogs when I tried out all the new things and I just sort of love it ever since. So it is the Doll Beauty Take Me to the Peach blush. Like it's really peachy for me that normally I, I have like a really pink blush and just with like a brush like this, put it on. And I always smile when I put the blush on. Oh, I love blush so much. I really love it. It's my favourite makeup product, I think. That or like a winged, like a liner, because I feel that I look an alien without a wing. So I just put this side up. My cheeks. I put a little bit down my nose. And just all over really because I just love it. I love it so peach. So blush is done. My fit, my base is done now. I'm actually not gonna put highlighter on. I feel like this is a really matte look that I'm that I'm doing for you today. And I just like matte at the minute, which is really unlike me. I normally like a highlight and I'm like a glossy lip. But we're switching it up, you know, 2020, maybe it's a year for something different. So, whoa, 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 where is it? For my brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow Pencil 
and this is in the shade grey just says grey no number so I'm just gonna fill in my brows I don't really like my brows too heavy anymore so I'm just gonna they're really really sparse on the ends of my eyebrows unfortunately so I'm gonna focus it mostly on the ends of the brow like so and then maybe I'll put a little bit in the front but mostly on the end I do really like like more of the natural brow these days or natural I mean it's still not natural really so I'm still putting things in but do you know what I mean I like it a little bit more I'm just gonna fake a little bit of the front here just to fill them out a little bit more but nothing too crazy I really can't see the little screen on the camera. I think I need glasses. I can't see properly. Having to look in the big magnified mirror that's next to you. So brows are filled in. Now all we've got left is eyes and a lip. So I am gonna, I would have normally done the mascara when I did my winged eyeliner, but I must have got sidetracked talking to you and I completely forgot. So this is just a Maybelline um, Lash Sensitonio, if you've seen my my first ever um, makeup tutorial, you will know I called it Lash Sensitone. What do I even call it? God knows what I called it, but I definitely got it wrong. I didn't even realise when I was editing it all together that I said it so wrong. So, yeah, it's actually called Lash Sensitonio. I'm never going to forget that one, and I'm never going to live it down. And if you've seen that video, then you were here from the start of my YouTube journey. So, I love you so much. Yeah, I'm just going to put this all over my lashes. I had an LVL done just before Christmas and oh my god, it changes your life. It really changes life. Like, I just feel so much better when I've had a lash lift. I feel like because I've got really long eyelashes, um, when they're not curly and they're, they're like straight and droopy, I feel like it makes my whole face feel like droopy and sad. And then when I have them lifted, I think, oh my god. Here we are, we're back in the room again. My eyelashes are not touching the floor. I mean, look at that lash curl. So I'm going to put on the Doll Beauty Lashes in Samantha. I just realised I'm going to have to go and get some scissors, which is really annoying. It's all in the kitchen. I've lost my little tiny scissors. Um, I don't know where they went. I've lost them, which is really, really irritating. With eyelashes, I will literally cut these and I'll wear like a third of the lash. Like, I only like lashes on my very outer corner. A full lash for me just doesn't work for my eye shape and what I like my makeup like at all. So I am going to run and get some scissors, but I will actually chop the lash. I'm going to use the, like the inner of the lash, but on the outside. So I'm going to use like this bit here, probably to about there. So like all that bit is going to be vanished. Probably going to use like that much of the lash, if that makes sense. The scissors, I'm going to have to cut my eyelashes with these big chunky kitchen scissors, which is so annoying. I normally have like little mini ones, like whatever scissors they are. When I walk through, just walk through my apartment, guys. Every time I walk through my apartment, I honestly just love it so much. Like I'm so grateful to be to have been able to get this apartment and live in it I'm, it's my ha full happy place this apartment like i come in and i think it's just mine like everything in it is mine no one else is here it's my own space like one thing about me is i love being by myself so much like it's actually really really abnormal how much i like being by myself like i really enjoy my own company so i've been in my apartment I just feel at peace and I'm just so happy here. So as you can see, there's like little little sections, I guess. What, what would that be called? I'm, I'm cutting it at six. So there's like six little cloves, is it called maybe? And I just use the Duo Lash Glue. It's just the best. They do do also like latex free. Um, they do all sorts of, of um, eyelash glue. They actually do a black glue, which I really am not a fan of. Um, Ariana swears by the the, the, the black lash glue um, because she says that like when you've got like a winged liner like me and it's black, 
sometimes this glue can set like clear and you can see it a little bit um so Ari's like well just just get the black so that it, it sets black but my god when you're putting the eyelash on if it goes a little bit on your on your eyelid that's it you've ruined your makeup you've got black eyelash glue all over your eyelid like it's just not for me i'm just gonna put a little bit on and i'll just leave it for two minutes to get tacky i'll leave it for like a minute a minute and a half i'm gonna leave it whilst i do my lips um and then they'll be really tacky and hopefully easy to stick on now i've had the lvl done it's actually a little bit hard to stick the eyelashes on which is why i've not actually been doing glam that much because it's quite hard so whilst we're just waiting for that to get tacky i'm actually going to use the Doll Beauty Liner in Shade Boy by, I finally bought myself a new pencil sharpener the other day, well the other week when I was in New York um, because I'd forgotten mine and it's just so good. My last pencil sharpener I must have had for two years, it was so broken, my pencils was just getting cut and like they wasn't even sharpening anymore and Ari was like you're actually like disgusting, just go buy a sharpener. So anyway I went and bought a sharpener which really changed my life again for the better so yeah. I'm just gonna put this liner on. I love Boy Bye, it's literally such a good colour. It's one of my favourite colours ever. I hear like this and Sweet Tea by Morphe are very similar. And I love them both. But truth be told, I've actually lost all my Morphe lip liners. I lost my last one on New Year's Day. So that's gonna be great because I feel like they're always sold out. So where am I gonna get that from? A bit worrying to be honest. Mm. So I just literally lined like my whole lip with that. Then I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty shade Four More, and I'm gonna put some on my finger. It's a new one, so it's quite fresh. And then dab that in the needle. I'm not actually happy with the four more colour, so I'm going to use the Trusty Dolled Out, also by Doll. It's a little bit more pinky. Like so. But I'm going to darken the edges of my lips because I feel like that's just a little bit too light. I'm going to use Diva Forever, also by Doll, and just darken the edges a little bit. I feel like I'm a little bit too light at the moment. That's better. I forgot about the eyelashes, but it's fine, guys. The glue still hasn't fully dried. I'm just going to put the lashes just where I have done the wing. Obviously, I only start the wing halfway across my eye. So that's where I'm going to put the eyelashes. So I'm just going to use the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist. I actually used to have... Oh, why did I talk? Oh my God, why am I talking? Went in my mouth. Ugh. Ew, why did I talk, Ben? What an idiot. But, so I'm just going to use... That, I actually used to use this all the time and I loved it so much and then I forgot about it and then I got sent it in the PR package that I opened on my last YouTube and it's brilliant. I'm back using it again. It's the best ever. I don't know why I forgot about it. And this is the finished look. It is an up-to-date makeup tutorial. It's a little bit different. It's more like of a matte vibe to what I've shown you in the past and I just feel like it's my go-to at the minute. I'm really just loving this makeup look. It's, I can't go out because I'm meant to be good on my New Year's resolution. I was going to say I was going to ask Sophie to go out for some food or something tonight, but I do need to cook. I need to be really good and cook. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the up-to-date makeup tutorial. I'm sorry it has taken me so long to finally get around to filming this. I've literally been so shit and I'm so sorry, but I'm back now. I'm back for 2022. There'll be an upload every single week every week i promise you hand on heart it'll be here so this has been a good one to kick off the new year an updated makeup tutorial for 2022 thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you have enjoyed this video i will be back with more weekly i'm gonna go i'm actually gonna go and fake tan my hands because i'm making myself feel sick i'm gonna go do some fake tan because i'm actually just it's not it's not nice um but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys